Good morning YouTube. This is Johnny. Thought I'd make a video. It's been a couple days. Yeah, like I always say when I make a video, I usually do it when my wife is gone. This morning she left to do some errands and then she's going to meet up with some relatives for a lunch. It is a Thursday here in West Michigan. It is 10.09 in the morning. It is July the 23rd, 2020. And yeah, I, uh, the other day, it wasn't yesterday, but the day before, my wife and I, we went to Finville Public Library, which is south of us. And because we we're gonna go to Douglas, which is right next to Finville. Our daughter gave my wife for Christmas a gift card for a deli that in Douglas which is right next to Finville south of us not that far and Finville Public Library has a used book room and my wife and I decided we go stop by and see what they have in their used book room of course, you had to wear a mask and sanitize your hands. and But they had a big, huge room full of used books. And we looked around and we bought $12 worth of books. And then we drove nearby to Douglas. And my wife said that she had stopped in Douglas at one time at the Humane Society. And they have a thrift store, a resale shop. And they have used books too. So my wife and I, we stopped there and they had some really good books. And then we went to the farmer's deli and used my wife's gift card from our daughter Bethany. So I'm going to show you the used books <laughs> that we got the other day. And some I got last week at Salvation Army or some thrift store, just a couple. So first, uh, I mentioned that I'm in my diary this morning. I'm on page 694 for the year 2020. Reading for morning worship, Calvin's Institutes, the Christian of the Christian Religion, Volume One. Now I told you that these guys uh, last week or two weeks ago, there was two fellows. Uh, I have them that had a little video. One of the guys is named Ian. He's in my Facebook. And they were going to go through Calvin's Institutes. And they gave out a reading program. And they're going to do videos every week on each of the chapters. And they have not done it. <laughs> I'm already on, on week four, which is uh, a book one, uh, chapter 13. Now, this morning, I'm on chapter 14 of book one. And there's no videos. But uh, I've always enjoyed reading John Calvin. He's easy to read, and uh, it's like a reread for me because when I'm when I'm reading in Calvin's Institutes, I notice I underlined. I'm sure I read, like I said, I read Calvin's Institutes was required reading in Bible college and seminary. So I'm just going to read read Calvin's Institutes until I get burnt out. Of course, I'm reading the Bible, the Holy Scriptures, the Word of God. So, first of all, I'll show you the books I got at Salvation Army or some thrift store last week. I picked up this book, A Hundred Days, The End of the Great War by Nick Lloyd. This is on the First World War. It was only 60 cents, and I collect books on the First World War, so I picked it up. Then I picked up this book. Now this book is by Young, C. Carl, Carl Young, Answers to Job, translation by R. F. C. Hall. Now I've shown over the, the my videos. I collect books by Young. I don't agree with them. I'm not into psychoanalysis or any of that. But it was only you know 50 cents. Also, it kind of bugged me that it had. It had been underlined, you know, 
somebody had underlined it, which I don't usually buy books that are underlined, but since I'm not going to read it, <laughs> I'm just going to put it in my young pile. And then I, my wife and I, we went to, where'd we go? We went to, oh, we went to, uh, a thrift store called the uh, the, Eagle, the Eagle's Nest and I found this this is Uncrowned King The Life of Prince Albert by Stanley Winthrop Rub. now I collect biographies by him I have several biographies by Winthrop and I have well, one of the books I found at the Finville Public Library book room was, now I had this already by uh, Stanley Winthrop. Uh, this is a biography on Queen Victoria and Prince Albert was her husband. And when we were at the Finville Public Library used book room, I found a hardback. Of this, but of this biography on Queen Victoria. There's when she's older. She reigned as Queen of England for over 50 years. So you cover a, a lot of British history when you read her biographies, and then you read about her husband, the Uncrowned King, the Life of Prince Albert by Stanley Winthrop, author of Victoria. So now I have a paperback. My wife said, why don't you offer this to your subscribers if they want this. But I said, I don't know anybody who's into Queen Victoria. And to, uh, but plus I wouldn't, I'd mail to anybody in the United States. Now if you lived in Africa or you know, Philippines or Russia, I couldn't afford the postage or even Canada. But anybody in America want this? Queen Victoria, but there is there is a stipulation. You have to, if you want this book, you've got to tell me the name of our cat. <laughs> so yeah, I got those. And then I picked up this book last week. This is a, I picked this up. It's called Natural History. It's a novel by Maureen Howard. And I realized I had this already in hardback, which is, yeah, I have it in hardback somewhere, but I had this in hardback. Where is that? I can't find it now. I must have taken it downstairs. No, here it is. No, I lost it. I had it in hardback. Anyway, I had this natural history in hardback. And now I have a paperback. <laughs> so what I'll do with this is I will take it down to the the neighborhood little library, give it to my, my wife to take down there. So what else? I think that was all I found last week. These are the ones I found we found the other day when we were going to Finville Public Library and into Douglas Humane Society. At the Humane Society I found these books. I found a biography of Maplethorpe, the very famous uh, Anne Vanguard photographer who uh, he lived in New York during the late 80s. He was very controversial in his day. His, he, he died young, I think in his 40s, from AIDS. He was, at, when Patti Smith lived in New York, they, were, uh, they lived together. 
uh, so you can see pictures of Patty Smith and and Maple Thorpe and uh, so this is uh, this is Patty Smith's a memoir, just kids about her relationship with Ma M Maple Thorpe and. Uh, so yeah, I found this. I was really, I I like reading about New York. Uh, he uh, he took he was hung around with Andy Warhol, and he hung around. See, here's a picture of Andy Warhol that he took. He uh, was in the gay club scene, and see, there's a very famous photo of Patti Smith on one of her albums, Horses, her very famous album, Horses. So I was kind of pleased to find, this is by Patricia morrison -Rowe. So I was really pleased to find this. I, I like reading about that whole time period in New York. And then found this. My wife found this one. She said, hey, there's a William H. Gass book over here at that Douglas Humane Society, and this is his essays titled The World Within the Word by William H. Gass. This is really a, a fine. I bought, I was reading this last year. This is a William Gass reader, but William H. Gass is one of my favorite uh, writers, so I was really excited to find that. Then I found this novel by Madison Smart Bell, historical fiction, master of the crossroads. I just showed you, he just came out with a biography on Robert Stone, and he also edited Robert Stone's nonfiction, uh, Madison Smart Bell. And this is The Master of the Crossroads, which is historical fiction about the history of Haiti. I also have this one by Madison Smart Bell. There's a, a trilogy. Now I have the first two. I need the third. The, this, the first one is called All, All Souls Rising by Mar Madison Smart Madison Mar Smart Bell. So now I have the other one. Uh, Madison Smart Bell. And then I f we found that the Douglas, this is Dorothy Lusting, the fifth child. I had this already in our library. I collect Dorothy Lessing. I have tons of her stuff, but I picked this up. And then I picked up this biography by Francis, Francine du Plex Gray, Rage and Fire, The Life of Louisa Colette, pioneer, feminist, literary star, Faubourg's muse. Uh, Faubourg, from what I've read, used her as uh, behind his Madame Bouvier was kind of, she was an inspiration, a muse for that very famous novel, Madame Bouvier by Faubourg, that Fred Louise Colette was the muse for that. I collect uh, Francine de Polex Gray's books, which I have. Over here, this is by Francine de Polex Gray. This is a, a memoir about her parents, them, and she wrote. A little biograph, a little biography on Simone Wynn Weld by Francine du de Plex Gray. These are historical novels, The Queen's Lover by her. And then she wrote another Lovers and the Tyrants by Francine du Plex Gray, a novel. So now I have there's a picture of her in the back. So that goes into that collection. Well, here's that natural, natural history by Maureen Howard. Let's see, now I have two of these. 
Now you see, I'm doing all this, I'm showing you that when I go to a thrift store or a used book sale, I look for things by other people that I have already or subject matters I have already. Like in this one, this is Melissa, The Life of Melissa Stewart by Arthur Gold and Robert Fitzdale. I found this one at the Finvale Public Library Used Bookstore. Now the reason why is that she hung around in Paris with the painters uh, before the First World War and after, before and after the First World War, she lived in Paris. She hung around with all these French painters and uh, she hung around with the whole circle, that whole bohemian artistic circle uh, from 1889 to 1903 and uh, she was friends with all these painters. She also was in the Battle of La La Russe. Let's see here. Let's see, there's the kind of paintings. So, it's, you know, I, I collect books about that time period in Paris. Painters there before the First World War. So, that was a book. And then I found, I had this already in a small paperback, but this is an illustrated edition The Flame of Trees of. Thanka by Espen Huxley, Memories of an African Childhood. This really has nice illustrations in it. It's all illustrated. And it was only, you know, really cheap, a dollar. So I found that. And then I found at the Humane Society in Douglas, Ron Daw, go, Going Solo, we all know by his children's books. This is his early memoir when he was in the military. I collect his writings. I have a whole stack of them downstairs. This is uh, short stories by a famous Yiddish writer back from, oh, I think he died in the 40s. And these are translations uh, out of Yiddish. His name is, he was the inspiration behind the movie Fiddler on the Roof from these short stories. His name was Shalom Akayim. This is Tavi's daughter, Tavi's daughter, which I think is the name of the character in Fiddler on the Roof. And this is the old country, collective stories of Shalom Akayim. A very famous Yiddish writer. These were translated out of Yiddish by who his name is I think they cut out the name in here translated by Julius and France Francis Butwin yeah they're illustrate there's illustrations throughout it uh, so I picked those up very famous. Yiddish writer. Came, I think he came from Ukraine and he came to America. He went to New York and he soon died afterwards. I picked up at the Humane Society in Douglas the first volume of a biography on Wellington, The Path to Victory, 1786, 1769 to 1814 by Rory Murr. I plan to pick up the second volume. It's really cheap on Amazon. Picked up Short stories by Ann Beatty, who I collect. I have this already, so I'll take this to the little library. Then I picked up at the Finville Public Library used bookstore. This is The Death of MacArthur, which was written by Sir Thomas Morley. This is a retelling of that immortal legend by Peter Ackroyd. I collect the writings of Peter Ackroyd. I have a huge stack of his stuff downstairs. I didn't know he wrote this, The Death of King Arthur, The Immortal Legend, a retelling by Peter Ackroyd. This I had already. I collect the writings of William Trevor, Cheating of Casta, Stories. I have this already. This I didn't have. 
This is by Thomas McCain, Something to be Desired, a small novel. I collect his writings. I think his later novels take place in Montana. And then I found The Big Crowd by Kevin Baker. He writes historical fiction on New York City. And I have these. I have these by Kevin Baker. This is a trilogy that he wrote. First in the volume of the trilogy by Kevin Baker is Dreamland. And then he wrote Paradise Alley by Kevin Baker. And these are all historical fiction novels placed in, on the history of New York City. Kevin Baker, Shriver's Row, a novel. This one I think takes place in, in Harlem. So I read these a number of years ago, so I don't remember them. But I found a novel of his, the, the Big Crowd, a novel by Kevin Baker. And then I found another novel I have already by William Boyd, uh, Thunder, Ordinary Thorn, Thunderstorms, a novel. I have this already, so I'll just go to the little library down the street. So there you go. So you can see I collect things. Uh, when I go to a thrift store, I look for different, certain subject matter, certain writers. I look, I always buy William Boyd. I always want, buy Dorothy Lessing. I always buy Peter Ackroyd. I always buy the, uh, the writer Ann Beatty. I like biographies. I like, I collect the writings of Thomas. McQueen, I collect William Trevor. I like reading uh, different books by different nationalities, Jewish writers, Japanese writers, French writers, <laughs> Russian. I like, uh, I collect Ron Dahl. This is his memoir, Going Solo, when he was in the military. I I have this book already in paperback, and this is an illustrated edition. I like reading about Paris before the war, First World War and after. And I collect books on Young. So you see, it's nothing really out of my, my circle of interest, the books that I got at thrift stores and at the Humane Society and the Finville Public Library. I just buy the same things and just add to the collections. So that's it. I, this is going to be a long video. I'm sorry. Thank you for the new subscribers. Do pray that you're not sick with the plague. Do pray that uh, there's no riots in your cities. And that... Uh, so I don't know what else to say. I got books coming in the mail, used books. Today's a Thursday. I don't plan to go anywhere the rest of this week. Uh, yeah. So I'll sign off. And until next time. Bye.